First up, it's uh, Roshan Stewart for Inter Menreza. Confidently dispatched high into the roof of the net. He was the calmest man inside the Lantern Stadium. Nothing seemed to phase him as he stepped up and just pasted it high into the net. All in today's work for Russian Stewart. And this man's had a fine game, Donaldo Endosh. Scored that goal early in the second half that ignited the comeback for Ammonia Youth. Also the goal that was rapidly followed by the three red cards. Donaldo Endosh. That's the way to take a penalty. Calm as you like. He's enjoying that. Knew exactly what he was doing. Two good penalties so far. Andrew Michael. Now ready to step up. Well, the goalkeeper gets the right way. Chinali was beaten by the pace of the penalty from Andrew Michael. It's 2-1. He went low. He went with power. The goalkeeper's going to stop it. He had to get right behind it, and he didn't. Certain Kermit stepping up for Ammonia Youth first. Been one or two of these penalties already. Uh, the penalty taker has had problems placing the ball on the spot. With a gamesmanship at the moment from Carlos Simeon, the Inter Manresa goalkeeper. Ooh, delaying tactics. Referee's dished out the warning. Certain Kerman went straight down the middle and just about got away with it. Only just. But it crept over the line. And the 100% record for both of these sides from the spot after two apiece is intact. It's 2 2. He's going one way. He couldn't quite get back to where he came from in time. Outside of relief. Terry Appiasi. Well, he's gone straight down the middle as well, but that was a little bit more convincing. Appiasi has decided to take his celebrations to the opposition. That's going to incur a yellow card from referee Kashba Ignatchuk. Yellow card for Abbiasi. Able to get that over and done with as quickly as possible. Marco Jeremiah, the captain. Happy with the position of the ball. He's going to replace it. Marco Jeremiah. Saved by Carlos Simeon. And it's advantage into Manresa. A miss from the captain who shakes his head in disbelief. It was a good height for the goalkeeper. We've seen better penalties hit the back of the net. And the goalkeeper does right. And by guessing right, it was a fairly routine save. Pushing the ball away. It's 
So yellow card now to Spears. One of the players on the bench for uh, Omonia. There's no doubt that Kashba Ignitschek, the referee, has got plenty of paperwork to look forward to after this cup final. Val Placid. Another player that's finding it difficult to position the ball on that penalty spot. I'm not sure it's actually on the spot. The referee says it's not. Val Placid, if he scores, they're one kick away. And he does score. He sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Mario Cinoli went to his left. The ball went to his right. And Val Placid, who's into Menreza. A 4-2 lead in this penalty shootout. Steps, Stephen Wright scored that last gasp equaliser which took the game to penalties. It's a brilliant goal as well. What can he come up with now? He needs to score. Into Menreza are victorious. And he keeps it alive by sending Carlos Simeon the wrong way. Good penalty. 4-3. Carlos Simeon, the goalkeeper, is going to take responsibility with the fifth penalty. If he scores, Inter Manresa win the Intermediate Cup. Goalkeeper against goalkeeper. Carlos Simeone just about makes it past Mario Cinoli and right into the top corner. Inter Manresa 24 have won 5-3 on penalties and they win the BSFL Intermediate Cup in an exhilarating final. It's a very well struck penalty for the goalkeeper. Full credit to him for having the confidence to do so. And he made it count. He saved the penalty from Marco Jeremiah. And then he scores the penalty. He means it into Menreza. More victorious in this final. And a final which has been packed with goals and red cards and penalty drama. It's heartache for Ammonia. They were the underdogs. But they've given Inter Menreza a real run for their money in this final. Inter Menreza winning on penalties 5-3 after a 3-3 draw.